Hello again. Happy Thursday. Across the region, we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. 86 degrees in both San Angelo and Abilene. 87 up in Anson. 83 in Eastland. They're going to be a cool spot right now, as well as Mason and Junction gotten down to 83. 85 degrees a little to our west over in Midland. Tonight, we're going to see temperatures dip into the upper 60s to lower 70s under partly cloudy skies. Getting down to 70 even in San Angelo. 69 is going to be the low in Abilene. 67 over in and Eastland, they're going to be that cool spot tonight. Pink Rock going to be one of those warmer spots getting down to 71 degrees. Now, when you head out for your Friday morning, temperatures will be in the lower 70s with partly cloudy skies. Pretty calm winds coming from the north. But when you come back home, temperatures are going to be up to the lower to mid 90s. Temperatures now coming out of the south a bit breezier with mostly sunny skies. We're going to continue to see that warming trend as we go through the weekend. Temperatures peaking in the mid 90s, hitting right at average for this time of year, that average high. 95 degrees. We're going to get up to 96 this weekend before that next cold front brings us back down to the lower 90s as we get towards the middle part of next week. But along with that, we're looking at some possible rain chances. This is kind of supported by the Climate Prediction Center's forecast. They're calling for below average temperatures and above average precipitation going through the next 10 days. And average precipitation for any given day around this time of year is around a tenth of an inch. So above average, we could definitely use that as we just talked about a second ago. West Texas has not been getting a lot of love with the rainfall. So fingers crossed that that'll hold true. But as we look over into the tropics, we are still keeping an eye on those two disturbances. This one that has that's in the eastern Caribbean has about a 20% chance of development over the next five days. And then this one just off the coast of Africa, it also has a 20% chance of development over the next five days. And although both of these systems have a low chance of, of forming into named systems, we are going to be keeping an eye on the tropics, especially right now because we're entering the peak of hurricane season. The peak of hurricane season it's just two weeks away, so we're going to be keeping an eye on things over there here back home. Here's a look at your seven day ending this week on a dry note. Isolated rain chances increase as we get into the start of our week next week. Once that cold front comes, rain chances become more widespread to scatter. Temperatures getting down into the upper 80s by this time next week. Back to you, Esmeralda.